Hey Canucks fans, welcome to Clay's Canucks Commentary for Wednesday, March the 13th. I'm Clay Emo, I'm at Canuck Clay on Twitter, I'm at Clay Emo on Instagram, I'm the founder of the GLCPC, the Good Looking Canucks Positivity Club, and this is my Canucks take, all in one take. I want to start off by giving a birthday shout out to my lovely wife Gail, an amazing wife, a wonderful mother, a great teacher, and I talk about her a lot here, well I should, she's my wife, but when it comes to the Vancouver Canucks, she is the one who allows me, who encourages me, who cheerleads me when it comes to these daily vlogs, when it comes to um, spending money on season tickets, spending money on trips to San Jose for the All-Star Game, and of course recording goofy music videos in our living room. So thank you, Gail. I love you. Happy birthday. And it helps that you're a Canucks fan. That Why am I talking to her like as if she's going to be watching this? She never watches my stuff. So it helps that she's a Canucks fan, that she understands enough about the game. Not a lot, but enough about the game. And she knows who to cheer for, and she enjoys going to the games live. Might not watch it on TV with me, but she likes going to the games. So um, all in all, very grateful for her and for her support. Okay, today I want to talk about the theme for today's video is going to be the college defenseman for the Vancouver Canucks. I'm going to talk about Hughes. I'm going to talk about Tevez. I'm going to talk about Chris Tanev. Probably throw, throw Troy Stetcher in there as well. But before that, let's talk about tonight's game. The Canucks had an informal skate today. A lot of guys on the ice, but it wasn't a formal practice. So we can only go from last night's lines. Uh, sorry, the lines from yesterday's practice. And that was Horvat between Pearson and Roussel. That was Pedersen, Besser, Levo. It was Gaudet, Vertanen, Godobin. And it was Beagle, Mott, Erickson. So that means likely Granlin, healthy scratch, Schaller, healthy scratch, and then um, uh, Ryan Spooner coming back from injury, healthy scratch. On D, we found out Chris Tanev is playing tonight. I'll get to that in a second. So they practiced like this yesterday. It was Edler Biega, then it was Breezeball with Stetcher, then Pouliot and Shen, and then Sotner and Tanev. So if they keep those pairings the same, maybe the Pouliot-Shen um, pairing um, comes out, and then you have Edler Biega, you have Breezeball, with Stetcher, and then you have Sautner with Tanev. Whatever the case, um, there's going to be at least two guys out tonight on D, and then Ben Hutton still out with injury, and we know that Jacob Markstrom start, starts tonight. So Vancouver Canucks, New York Rangers tonight, Rogers Arena, not going to the game. It's Wednesday night, so that means it is indeed my church night once again. So let's talk about college defensemen. First, let's talk about the signing of free agent defenseman Josh Tevez. Out of Princeton University, he played a full four years there. He's actually Princeton's all-time leading assist leader by defenseman, so that's pretty impressive. He had, you know, like I said, the full four years there. His third year, his junior year, was his best year. Had 30 points, um, um, 33 points in 30 games, which is very impressive. Um, went actually, I think it was 33 and 31 last year, and then this year it went down a little bit, only 20 points in 30 games, but still. Uh, decent showing, but yes, it was last season where he he definitely made his mark. He got noticed by the Vancouver Canucks. They brought him to their 2018 summer development camp, and I will say that I got to see Josh Tevez live last summer, and I was impressed by him even back then. I noticed him, and of course, all the attention last summer was on Quinn Hughes, even though he was battling the flu. It was on Quinn Hughes. It was on Jet Wu and Tony Utnin, right, our two um, 2018 draft picks, defenseman draft picks. Then there's some also uh, attention on Jack Rathbone, of course. But I did notice Tevez even last summer. And I noticed how good of a skater he is. I noticed um, that he was mature, that he made good decisions with the puck, that he had good vision, and and you know a really good hockey IQ. And it makes sense. Now that he's tw he was 23 then, he's 24 now. So he's a, a mature player, one of the oldest players, obviously, coming out of college, given that he is 24. So the Canucks are getting a mature defenseman here. They could only sign him, because he's 24, they could only sign him to a one-year contract. So at the end of the season, he will become an RFA. So the Canucks hold the rights, hold the leverage, all that stuff. So the Canucks can sign him to a longer-term contract if they'd like to. We'll see where he fits in. I'm sure they'll want to give him, give him a look up here with the big club before the season ends, especially as the games don't really mean much from a playoff standpoint, but they certainly mean a lot for guys earning contracts, earning jobs. And who knows if he winds up in Utica or on the big club going forward after this season. So once again, Josh Tevez, free agent signing by the Vancouver Canucks. Signed yesterday. I didn't do a video on him yesterday, but he's certainly uh, one that we can look forward to seeing in the lineup before the end of the season. Number two college defenseman, I want to talk about Quinn Hughes. Why not? I've been talking about him for the last three or four days straight. He had a five-minute, uh, you know, actually more than five minutes. He had a media, the Canucks only posted five minutes of it, but he had media availability before the morning skate. He didn't take part in that morning skate because he got his MRI this morning 
and the Canucks want to keep him off his ankle, at least today, until they get the results back, and then we'll see. So he's certainly not playing tonight. We'll see if he gets in on Friday. That seems a little soon uh, to me. But then, of course, the more games he misses, the closer he gets to that 10-game mark, um, so he won't have to be uh, you know, protected in the expansion draft in a couple of years. Once he hits 11 games, he will have to be protected. So if he doesn't play today, if he doesn't play Friday, that's two of the last Canucks' last 13 games. That means he'd only have to sit one more um, uh, aside from these two, and then we're good. We're gold. Uh, he can play 10 games or fewer this year. But Quinn Hughes uh, came across really well in his interview. He's been used to dealing with media because he's been such a highly touted prospect. So World Juniors, World Championships, Michigan, of course. He always, um, you know, always good with the media. Very well spoken. You can tell he's a very smart guy. Very confident. I wouldn't say cocky. I wouldn't say arrogant. I've heard other people use those terms. But no, he's a confident young man. And that's what kind of what we need, right? That's what we want. And he's looking forward to, he said all the right things, right? He's looking forward to learning from the guys, meeting the guys, deferring to the guys that have been here a lot longer than, than he has, obviously. But I think we'll quickly see that change as he realizes when he's skating out there that he's probably one of um, one of our most talented players, most skilled players, most exciting, most elite players already. So that's Quinn Hughes. Can't wait to see him in a lineup. He won't play tonight. Maybe he plays on Friday when the Canucks host the Devils. I'll be going to that game. So that's kind of cool. And then the other college defenseman I want to talk about today is Chris Tanev. We know that the Canucks signed him to a, a contract way back in 2010 out of Rochester. Uh, not drafted by the van, by by anyone in the NHL, and he's obviously been uh, evolved to be our, our second best defenseman over the past decade behind Alex Edler. So Chris Tanev, I bring him up because he is returning to the lineup tonight after missing I think 12 or 13 games with an injury. So uh, it was great when I saw him at the Dyson Ice. I couldn't really tell you know how well he was recovered. He was dealing blackjack. I couldn't didn't make him do any physical drills in front of me. But it's great to see him playing, and it looks like he wants to do well over the next thir uh, 13 games to end off the season and maybe be a mentor for guys like Quinn Hughes and for Josh Tevez as they get into the lineup. So we'll see what happens tonight. But Tanev will be in the lineup and looking forward to solidifying our, our defense. And, man, it sounds so much better when he's in the lineup, right? He just brings up – everyone can – slot down one spot at least and play in, into the more natural positions but too bad we won't have Ben Hutton otherwise we'd have a healthy decor once again with Edler coming back recently as well so it's kind of cool that you know the, that common theme of the college defenseman whether it's Quinn Hughes coming out of Michigan Tevez coming out of Princeton Tanev coming out of, of Rochester way back in in 2010 and then of course we have one other highly touted college defenseman uh, as also a free agent, and that would be Troy Stetcher, who came out of North Dakota in 2016. So the Canucks have, it's interesting now with Hughes, who's a draft pick, but now with Tevez, with Tanev, with Stetcher, we're starting to see that the Canucks uh, really like to at least build their blue line with these college defensemen, and hopefully, you know, um, it, it'll mean good things for the blue line going forward. Canucks fans, Leave a comment below. I'd love to read, react, and reply as always. You can talk about Hughes as we've been doing for the past three days. You can talk about Josh Tevez, his signing, what you expect from him. Do you remember him from the summer development camp last summer? And we talk about what Chris Tanev means to, to the lineup and and what how he can solidify the lineup going forward even for these next 13 games. We, I'd love to read, react, and reply as always. If you just leave a comment below. Subscribe if you like to. Like this video if you like to. Enjoy the game tonight. Canucks versus the Rangers. No Quinn Hughes. But that could happen soon. But Chris Tanev is indeed back in the lineup. Enjoy the day. God bless. And go Canucks go.